currently we have actually seen patient going home on the same day after surgery or a day after surgery and these are the patient that we are going to put them on oral medication antibiotics and painkillers Hi everybody, this is Dr. John Jaggi and today we'll be talking about the differences between laparoscopy and open surgery. A lot of you have been asking, why should I have laparoscopy and not open surgery? So, here are the answers. Let's explain what laparoscopy surgery is. We know when a patient goes to theater, we want to open them up and we're going to expose the organ of interest if it, for example it's an appendix appendix we want to remove we want to access and see where the appendix is and then the surgery will perform the surgery so they're going to be a large incision open up and with our hands we are you know um, touching the organs and exposing what is interest in laparoscopy this is what happens a small incision about a centimeter is used to introduce a camera and light so that image is captured and then is relayed to a monitor and we are able to visualize what is inside on a monitor. And then there are going to be other smaller incisions if you are going to operate it will be about half a centimeter and this is where the instrument will be introduced. So this is what it means. Now the advantages of laparoscopy. Since we are using small incision, there's going to be less risk of bleeding. So that means the patient will have less likely to be transfused after surgery. Number two, there's going to be less risk of pain after surgery. The reason why a patient stays in the hospital for a duration of say three days after surgery is because we mostly keep these patients on painkillers and IV are a little bit stronger than all medication. And we also put patients on IV antibiotics. So that means since the patient does not have this large incision, they're going to have less likely um, risk of uh, pain after surgery. So what does that mean? The patient gets to go home earlier. Currently, we have actually seen patient going home on the same day after surgery or a day after surgery. And these are the patient that we are going to put them on oral medication, antibiotics and painkillers. So that means it's going to be less expensive for the patient it's going to be less expensive for the hospital we have also seen again as i mentioned there's going to be less risk of infection because there's less contamination from external environment into the cavity of interest so the patient is not really going to need this many antibiotics they are given at the hospital that means they are going to heal a little bit faster and a little bit smoother and of course patients are most likely going to be able to get back to their normal daily routine sooner than a patient who had uh, an open surgery. Finally, this is to the patient. Um, they have really nice scar on the anterior abdominal, so there's going to be better cosmesis for the patient. So if you're planning to go to the beach, no worries. You're going to have those very small uh, scars that heal almost um, unnoticeable. And um, yeah, it, it, it would, you know, it should be uh, the surgery of option. So the next time you're going to your, you know, your surgeons and you're discussing about different options of surgery, it's always important to ask them, is laparoscopy an option for my surgery? Um, of course, laparoscopy will have a few of limitations, but to the most part, almost every surgery can and should be performed laparoscopically. Until next time, stay healthy.